Next question is give the implementation of T flip flop from D flip flop, right? So it is a form of conversion, flip flop conversion. Okay, D to T flip flop. So what are the steps? Uh, there are three important steps which has to be done. Step one, you have to write the excitation table. Write the excitation table. Second step, step two, simplify it using KMAP. K-map simplification of your excitation table. Okay. And step 3. Draw the desired logic diagram. So these are the three steps that has to be carried out for your flip-flop conversion. So here it is implementation of T flip-flop from D flip-flop. So what is your input? Input is going to be your, let us draw the excitation table. So input will be your T. Next is your present state Q. Next state Q n plus 1 and your flip-flop input. So this is the specialty of your excitation table. So what is your flip-flop using D flip-flop? Okay, so the input to the flip-flop will be D. So now what are the different combinations you have? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right? So depending on the input and present state, what is your uh, Q n plus 1? That is your next state. So whenever you have uh, the input to be different, right? Different, you have it to be 1. And whenever your input is same, you have the next state to be 0. That is the specialty of your T. If the input T input is equal to 0, 0, it is same. So your output will be equal to 0. 0, 1, it is different. So you will be getting 1. 0, 1, it is different. So 1, 1, it is same. So you will be getting 0. Now you have got your next state. Now from the present state and next state, can you... Uh, Find out what is your input to the flip-flop. Okay. So it is 0 to 0. So D flip-flop. What is the output of your transition table of your D flip-flop? It is data flip-flop or delay flip-flop. Whatever is the uh, output. Whatever is the input. The same will be your output. So here the output is transition. Is taking from 0 to 0. So your input also will be equal to 0. Whatever is in the state. The same will be your input. So here it is 1 to 1. The next state is 1. So your data will be, uh, D input will be 1. Here also it is 0 to 1. So 1 will be your input. So in this case it is 1 to 0. Your next state is equal to 0. So your input to the flip-flop will be equal to 0. So this is your excitation table. Now, so step 1 is over. Now what will be your step 2? Solving using step 2 using kmap kmap simplification so if i solve it let let me take it as t and q 0 0 0 sorry 0 1 0 1 so you'll be having 0 0 what is the value for your uh, d 0 0 it is 0 then uh, 1 0 0 1 it is 1 1 0 1 1 1 it is again 0 okay so this is how you simplify so what will be your d d will be equal to so if i take this your q and t dash or t bar plus here in this case it is q dash t so i can write d is equal to T XOR Q. Okay. So this is your characteristic equation. So last one is your step 3. You are going to draw your logic diagram. So your T flip flop using your D flip flop. So you are making use of your D flip flop. You have what are the inputs? One is your D and the other one is your clock. Right. What is your output? Q and Q dash. So you have one more signal that is your clear signal. Okay. Now to the D what is your input? D input is equal to T. 
So what is D? D is equal to D XOR Q. So you will be having an XOR gate, right? XOR gate to which the input, one of the input is going to be your T and the other input is going to be your Q. Okay. okay. So this is how you are getting your logic diagram. Conversion of implementation of T flip-flop using or from D flip-flop.